Hello everyone, my name is Ildenari, and today I'll be bringing you a StarCraft 2 commentary. In the bottom left we have Root Kyuikaki, and in the top left we have Dijinatusami or something. And Kyuikaki is a well-known uh, Protoss player because of his mothership. He loves his motherships. And I'm not sure, I didn't research anything about this guy, and... If I do, I will do another gameplay by him and tell you all about him. And, um, I know that this game is not going to be long. It is going to be, um, around the 7 to 8 minute mark. Meaning that one of these is going to do a rush. Probably, wait, I'm not sure. I'm guessing a Kenyan rush because... There aren't that many rushes except for proxy, maybe, but I'm not sure either of these two will do a proxy. Let's see, what is he going to build? He is building a gateway, standard, and he is building a gateway. Mm. I wonder what's going to happen. He is sending his pro to scout, and so is Kirikaki scouting his base first for any proxy pylons or canyons that Tijinatis might have thrown down. We have the simulator, maybe. Maybe we might see some void ray rushes or something like that, but I don't think so. He is sending him his pro through the mineral line meaning he is being secretive he does not have anything to up for this little probe he will see what is going on not that much two pylons one gateway staying and wait do we have a forge no but we don't what is this nothing cybernetics for being built kiwikaki has his probe oh he is going to pass him it would suck if that was GG just because of one simulator. Let's see, um, nothing so far. Probably waiting up to save uh, some money for the simulator or not. Let's see, he did uh, nothing. Let's see, Forge, Cybernetics, Gateway, Gateway, Cybernetics, maybe a proxy pylon somewhere. I'm not sure. I don't see anything. Let's go into production. Um, no. Building one, um, Jinatsi is b building one stalker, stalker also for Kiwikaki probes, gateways, warp gate is being researched by Kiwikaki, and so is, is the, oh, wait, yes, nothing so far that could indicate of any rush, it is four minute, four minutes, and around the six minute mark should be a proxy pylon rush. Uh, I mean, not a proxy pylon rush, uh, a proxy rush with his warp gates. But I don't see a four gate be being built yet. Um, although, it is going to be a four gate by uh, Diginatsami, whatever. And um, he does not have a proxy pylon anywhere. He is going to send this uh, probe, uh, this probe. Oh, no, that's not a probe. He might send this probe to build a pro- Oh, wait, here we go. There is the proxy pylon. Does Kiwikaki have anything? No, he is going for four gate as well. Maybe he wanted to rush him as well. He, uh, Dijinatsami also has a substantial army. Uh, two stalkers compared to uh, Kiwikaki's three, but he also- has this proxy pylon and what he, he can do is just warp in tons and tons of stalkers and zealots just warp it in right on the main base of Kiwikaki. Kiwikaki has his warp gates finally researched building some stalkers but you have to remember this is in front of his base which means he does he cannot secure an expansion uh, and he is going to be, he, they, this is pretty much the same army, and let's see, he does send some probes over here, uh, stalkers being, uh, attacked by those zealots, and those stalkers trying to do something, nothing happening right now, 
Kiwakaki does have this one probe, maybe another proxy pylon, but this is a lot of zealous stalkers. I don't know if Kiwakaki can handle this. He might be able to do it with his micro, but that is a lot of stalkers just taking the damage from, from the zealous that go in front. And zealous taking all the damage also. Meanwhile, zealous versus three zealots, no way. This is probably going to be GG by Kiwakaki. Too many stalkers. He just cannot handle it. More zealots just warping in from this proxy pylon and yes this is going to be gg just wait for it he should have just went for more stalkers or at least scouted a little later but on all a good seven minute mark for did you not saw me or something and um thank you for watching this uh commentary if you like this video um please subscribe if you didn't go to my channel check out all of the rest of the videos and if you like them subscribe